Hello everyone, it's Strawberry Ellie here and thank you so much for joining me in another video. Today I want to show you another monthly spread for my bullet journal. It's going to be the one for March. I recorded one for February, which I'm going to link down below. It's going to be again where I'm just showing you the pages I already drew out because I don't have the right setup yet to actually draw it out on camera, but hopefully in the future we can change that. But other than that, I had a lot of fun drawing out this spread and I also realized how fast February went by because we are almost into March and I don't know where time went. But I hope you enjoy watching this video and we get right into my monthly March spread. And just for reference, for my bullet journal, I'm using one from Muji and it was around $5. And before I get started with the March spread, I want to show you my last week of February. And as you might know, I've picked a Japanese theme. So for this last week, I've drawn a tree with cherry blossoms here. And I only included the just first three days of this week because then it starts with March. And I kept it really simple. Otherwise, no note section or to-do list. Nothing like that, just a quote, breathe in, breathe out. Just a reminder for me to stay present and enjoy the moment. And then we can move on to March. And for March, I picked a green theme. I thought to start off spring, that would be a good idea. And also I'm gonna be spending the month in Bali. And it's really lush there and green. So I wanted to include a lot of different shades of green and also a lot of leaves, plants and succulents. So I started with a quote as always, into the wild I go, losing my way, finding my soul just to keep me motivated for the month. And I love to include quotes in my bullet journal. And then just the cover page with a bunch of different leaves. I went a bit crazy on that and the calendar. And then the calendar for the month, just really simple, this time just on one page because I don't really need a lot of space to write down events or things like that. I'm gonna be pretty busy and that will do with also some plants hanging, which I found were pretty cute. And then a goal section and a to-do section just to write down for the month to keep me accountable. I can write down things that I want to accomplish for that month. And also a little sticky note and a quote, think happy thoughts, just to stay positive. And then this month I actually included a habit tracker for the entire month instead of weekly ones. Because I found it's way easier and I also have a better look for the entire month to just see how am I doing with my habits instead of having just weekly ones. I have a great overlook and it was also really fun to draw. And then for the first time I actually did a mood tracker. I haven't done that but I've seen it in other bullet journals before and I know this is not a perfect circle but I didn't have any tools so that will do for this month. And for each day I'm just gonna color how I'm feeling and how I'm doing and then I can look back at it and see, yeah, how maybe I can improve with my mood and hopefully it's gonna be a positive one. And then as I did in my previous months, I just have a schedule for my videos, which I'm gonna upload ideas and then also my schedule. And also I have my growth tracker for both my Instagrams and also my YouTube channel. And obviously this is totally up to you what you want to include in here, any kind of hobby you want to have a schedule for or things you want to write down. I think it's a great way to have that at the beginning of the month. And then my currently page, again, things I write down, what I like in the month, where I'm staying, what I'm planning, what I'm wearing, what I'm reading. Just a nice thing to look back at and to see what I was doing at that month. And then again, my expenses tracker, just to see what I'm spending and also what I'm earning for the month. Yeah, just to keep me accountable. And I think it's way better when I write down my expenses because then I try to just stay on a budget and just look what I'm spending in the month. And this is also the first time that I included a gratitude journal in here. I don't know if I've seen that in other journals, but I thought it would be a good idea just to write down each day things I'm grateful for. It just makes me appreciate the things I have in my life so much more and it always gives me a positive boost for the month. And then lastly, we're finishing off with the last few days of the week and starting off with the first days of March. And I include the quote, bloom where you are planted 
with some plants and also some succulents. And as you can see, I kept it pretty simple as well, just some drawings, the calendar, and lots of space to write down things I want to do on these days. And that is it for my March spread this month, and I hope you enjoyed it. Alright guys, and that was it for my monthly spread for March. I hope you enjoyed this theme and let me know if it gets you excited for springtime. Also let me know if you want to see more of these plan with me videos because I have a lot of fun just planning about, organizing them and showing you my spread. So that is it for me. I hope you have an amazing day, an amazing start for the month of March and I see you in my next video. Bye guys!